Motion Blue version 6 with almost 20,000 games on it, and all I did was get an external hard drive. So amazing. This is probably the ultimate image. This is the best way to make an image over the 128 gigabyte, in my opinion, with the current price of SD cards. You can fit over a terabyte worth of games for around $60 in addition to your Pi 3. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna take you step by step so you can set up your own ultimate one terabyte or two terabyte or even more Raspberry Pi 3 Motion Blue version six image, starting now. All right, what is up YouTube? So to get started, you will need a Raspberry Pi three. There's a link in the description if you get one of these. I'm gonna be running this on a 32 gigabyte SD card because all we need to do is put the operating system on this thing and then everything else we're gonna be putting on a one terabyte hard drive. I'm actually using a Western Digital one, but the Seagate one will work just fine. I recommend the USB 3.0 just because you can transfer things a little bit faster. Um, you can also do this on a thumb drive. So if you want to use any kind of like a 128, a 256, I don't have a thumb drive on me, but it's you know the little USB drives that have data on them. You can do the same thing with those as well. The first thing you need to do though is download your base image. We're going to be using Mo Motion Blue version 6, but you can use this with regular RetroPie as well or HyperPie. This will all work the same, just follow the same steps. Um, so download Motion Blue, you'll extract it, you'll be left with a .img file and a PDF file after you extract this file. It comes out to 6.6 .6 gigabytes. And then uh, just tell it what device is your uh, micro SD. Put your micro SD into the computer. Go ahead and click this folder, head over to the IMG, mount the IMG, and then it should this should highlight. Go ahead and click right. It's gonna say, are you sure? Click yes, and then it'll bring you to the next screen here it's not too big of a file so this shouldn't take much time at all so you do need to download a piece of software in order to format your one terabyte or two terabyte whatever hard drive or flash drive you have that's over 32 gigabytes so go ahead and download this program I'll put a link in the description open it up go to the correct drive you want it fat 32 and then just click ok ok start let it run through its process and then uh, it should be formatted now and we should be able to access it in our Windows Explorer after this with no problems All right, we got 932 gigabytes free and it's FAT32. All right, once you format it, create a new folder and it's gonna be called RetroPie lowercase dash mount no spaces. Once you finish the step, it's time to boot up the Pi but do not hook up the hard drive yet. All right, here we are with a brand new boot of Motion Blue version six. I'm setting up the controller for the first time so you can follow this process exactly. Now, uh, I already did all those things with the hard drive that you previously saw, and here I am. What you need to do is go to RetroPie. You wanna go ahead and go to, I guess it's in RetroPie Setup, Configuration and Tools, and it's all the way at the bottom, I believe. USB ROM service, enable it. All right, we're enabled. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and back, exit, And I'm just gonna do a reboot just in case. I don't think you need to do this. We're just gonna be to do a reboot. And it should come back on shortly. All right, so I've now rebooted. Now it's time to plug in my external drive. Once your drive's in the USB slot on your Pi, I'd give it a couple minutes just to sync up. If you already have ROMs on your image, you're not starting from a blank image. You need to give it time to transfer those ROMs over. But we're doing a blank image, so it should t take very little time. All right, now we have our brand new volume and when you open RetroPie mount, look at that, a whole file system structure has been created for us which came directly off of our Raspberry Pi. So now we have it and as you see, if we go to ROMs, we have, we have the folders but there should be nothing in there or very little in there. Um, and then over here, I have all my ROM packs downloaded. I have everything here. I even have, you know, like 1600 PlayStation games uh, and with the one terabyte drive, I can get a lot of this on there. So to get started, let's just get like Nintendo and Super Nintendo on there to start. So let's go ahead and get NES and SNES. We can just go ahead and copy, or we could just, I'll just get all the, Control A, Control C, and put this into NES. All right, and now you can see when we go to our mount, 
and we should have NES games, all right, and we should have SNES games. There we go. So we're all loaded up. Now we're gonna remove the hard drive, and basically we could just fill in as many games as we want here, up to a terabyte worth of games. So you guys have heard of 200 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte images. What about a terabyte? You can load almost the entire PlayStation collection um, you technically need about two terabytes, I would say, if you want all the PS stations, the majority of the Dreamcast, and then everything else below that. Um, but a one terabyte is nice as well. So if you're going for the ultimate, I'd go for two terabyte. Hey, here we go now. 1,662 games, Super Nintendo. Uh, look at that. Video snaps working. Oh, baby. Let's launch a game. Oh, doggy. Okay, this is all working real good. Start select out. All right, so now it's time to just, let's just freaking load this thing up. Now that we know it works, just start dropping the ROM hammer on this thing and uh, see what we get out of it. All right, we're in. <laughs> we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. Let's see, let's see this. Let's see this. Ooh. What? 19,493 games, guys. And we didn't add any of the PlayStation or any of the Dreamcast yet. Look at this. 30 games. 430. 88. 109. 23. Odyssey. 79. Vetrix. 23. TurboGrafx-16, 94, TurboGrafx-CD, 47, Super Graphics, 5, Super Nintendo, 785, SG-1000, 68, Super Famicom, 457, Sega CD, a lot of files here, 169, Sega 32X, 33, Scum VM, huge dump on here, 124 Scum VM, with working video snaps. PSP Minis, 291, Sony PSP, 402, man, I transferred a lot of these over, jeez, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, ATV Off-Road Fury Pro USA, PC Engine, 285, PC Engine CD 1116, MS DOS 1182. Guys, what do you know about this MS DOS collection? What do you know? Look at it. It's it's a beautiful Dune 2. That's what I'm talking about. So there's some duplicated games in there. Zoric five games. Neo Geo Pocket Color four. Neo Geo Pocket. 9. Nintendo 864. Neo Geo 142. Nintendo DS people are like, why, why are you going to put all those Nintendo DS games on there? Because I got a terabyte, yo. 760. It's not a problem. Why are you going to put it on the N64? Because I got a terabyte. Who cares? MSX2. 84. MSX. 567. Mega Drive. 194. 901. Master System. 344. Mame Arcade, 921, Intellivision, 137, Game Boy Color, 500, Game Boy Advance should be about 1,000, yeah, Game Boy, another 500, Game Gear is like 200 and something, 332, Game & Watch, under 100, 52, Family Computer Disk System, 91, Final Burn Alpha, 1,500, Family Computer System, 386, Dreamcast, none, because I didn't transfer them over yet, Daphne, got all 11, Cole Eco, 141, Commodore 64, 1500, Atari ST 270, Atari Lynx 7052, you get the idea, Apple II, Amstrad, and Amiga, I don't have any Amiga actually, and uh, you know, once I add the P, once I add the PlayStation games, um, you know, we're talking, you know, close to 20,000 games, guys, 20,000 games, and uh, the price, 
is similar to a 128 gigabyte SD card, well, more like a 200 gigabyte SD card because the hard drive is about 60 bucks, maybe 50, 40 to 60, and then the SD card is about 10 bucks. So let's say you get around 50 bucks, that's, that's 50, 60 bucks, that's around the same price as a 200 gigabyte card. So really cool stuff. Let's, um, Aero Fighters, give it a whirl. Make sure it's running. It's a fresh install, so I haven't installed any bezels. or um, And as you see, it's running just fine. There's no lag. It doesn't lag between systems, things like that. Games run just fine. Working really good. All right, start select out. And there you have it. So that's how to set up a brand new Motion Blue version 6. This is the ultimate image. This is going to blow away any 256 gigabyte image, any 400 gigabyte image. Like this is the way to go. It's really easy. It's much cheaper. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to go this route um, unless you're going 128 or smaller. The 128 is at a price point where it makes sense. Just do that. You're done. Get the games you want. But if you're going for that ultimate collection, this is the ultimate collection. You don't have to skimp out. You don't have to choose what games you want. Everything works. Save states work. It works just fine. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's really good stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.